two more cheese. Okay. Got a little school of miscellaneous fish down there, fellas. Um, this bass looks pretty interested. Maybe he'll maybe he'll take it here. Got him. Hold the camera. Eat it. Eat it. Come on. Come on. Oh. Welcome back to another episode everybody. As you can see today, we're in the clam. It's a great day to be on the water. We're in Minnesota today folks, switching it up a little bit from last video. I'm with a new face on the channel. We got Sully right here, doing some ice fishing. Hank, as you guys have seen in previous videos, is in another house right to, he's like right there. He's super close. Um, so we got three guys out here, Hopefully get after him today. Sorry, my camera's fogging up a little bit because it's so warm in here and cold outside. I don't know how that works, I'm not a scientist. But let me show you the setup we're working with today. All right, everybody, as you can see, we're in the clam here with all its glory, got the pouches up there. Buddy heater run in, Aquaview, Vexi over there, all the stuff in the sled. And uh, hopefully we get after today, folks. So here we go, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we get on some fish. First bass through the ice, maybe, possibly. Well, folks, got our nice fish here. Uh, first fish of the day today, and uh, hopefully, this is the start to more. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, other way. There we go. Two more cheese. Okay. Got a little school of miscellaneous fish down there, fellas. Um, this bass looks pretty interested. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll take it here. Got him, hold the camera, hold the camera. Got it. Camera cut it off. That's what, no, it's still on. Oh, camera's not on. We're hooked up, boys. Another bass. A little nicer than the last one. Huh, maybe not. Just a little bit. <sighs> Come here, Rick. <sighs> there we go, fellas. Bass number two of the day today. <sighs> Can't see what I'm filming. Move your top finger. Oh. Your, can you see it? Yeah. Does it look nice? Looks great, gentlemen. Bass number two of the day today, boys. Uh, we'll get this guy back in the water, but uh, things might be starting to pick up here, so here we go. See you later. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what I'm working with here, uh, what I'm using to catch uh, these bass here. I'm honestly surprised that this is catching them. It's a little micro white jig with a mummified wax worm. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job holding up against these fish, so uh, you know, going for uh, going for pan fish and crappies, but uh, guess bass like it too. So interesting. The more you know. Done. Well, folks, uh, sorry, filming's been a little bit of a struggle today. Look at this guy here, a little bit bigger, so we'll take that all day. Yeah, nice little bass through the ice there, guys. Let's go. We are marking right now, everyone. We're marking a lot of fish, boys and girls. It's a big bass down there. Um, yeah. A big old whale lives, but on there, I got a little dinner bell. It's a golden green one with a little orange blade and uh, tip of the middle head. But we're gonna see if I can get any of these fish to be interested sunny. in the old dinner bell. left? Yeah. 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 Oh, fat fat shade, buddy. Holy crap. Yeah. Well guys, Hayden got uh, Hayden got hooked up here. Nice little nice little slime rocket there. Anything to say? Oh here, hold on my fingers get stuck in them. There. Dude, I had a bunch of fish just sit there. 
there and do nothing. They just come up. I try to get them to chase and bite. Yeah. And they disappear. Good job, Hank. I'm gonna close this because it's cold out. Yeah, I'm freezing. Wow, everybody. We're back. We in the car. Right now it is 12.30 and we're gonna go get some food. I think Hayden had a little snack for me though. This channel is slowly turning into a channel where my friends just put food in my mouth. Thanks, Hayden. Um, we'll go get some food. We're gonna try a different lake. Caught a couple fish at this lake. I caught three or four bass. Hayden caught two northerns. Still didn't get any. But I'm gonna go hop lakes now and uh, hopefully get after. So stay tuned. We eating good today. We at Taco John's, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Um, Hank and Sully are in there getting some food and I'm waiting out here with the stuff, you know, cause you can never be too careful folks. So waiting on my tacos and uh, we're gonna get after it here after we eat some and then uh, get on some more fish hopefully. So stay tuned. Wow, I'm in a car with a bunch of idiots. Anyway, um, guys, we just got the food here. Taco John's bag acquired. Got the two hard shell with the potato olays. I don't know what these guys got. You wanna tell the people what you guys got? <laughs> Six pack and a pound, baby. Idiots. Um, the real men eat. So, yeah, two tacos, olays, and uh, fueling up for the next ice fishing adventure. Here we go. Food review. Um, I'm going to give the taco a solid nine. Mm. Well, what? These tacos are busting. <laughs> olays are 10 out of 10. Actually, olays are 11 out of 10. What is up, everybody? We made it. We in the clam. Um... It's been a while, too long since I last picked up the camera, but uh, we're out fishing. Uh, new lake right now. Currently, it is, let me check my phone for you. Three. 3.37, everybody. So we'll probably fish here till five or six, depending on, you know, it gets dark at 5.30, so uh, not quite sure if we're gonna be out here in the dark, but uh, we'll see if we can get after them. We're going after anything that bites, so, uh, you know, if it flies, it dies. If it fishes, it gets brought to the surface of the ice. So, my camera's fogging up because it's hot in here. We got the heater rolling, and uh, I'm going to stop talking, and we'll see you when we catch a fish. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you the aqua view because it's pretty sick. We're fishing 10 to 11 feet of water right now. Hopefully, this focuses here. It's pretty foggy, but I'll jig once, and you can see my jig there. And we're in some weeds, um, nice little weed line kind of along the edge here, and... Uh, should be good, so I just thought that was cool. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it. Dang it, guys. Dang it. I wasn't recording on the GoPro and uh, I just missed a pike. Decent one, I guess. I don't know. I couldn't really tell, but uh, damn, that sucks. I see it. Let's go. Oh, a little perch. Nice. Well, guys, little Minnesota perch there. Uh, he'll go back in the water. Eat it. Eat it. Come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Just another little, another little dink perch. I'm getting here. I am getting excited over these small fish, but you know, it's just so fun to come out here and catch these guys. You know, enjoy the outdoors and uh, have a good time while you're doing it. This is the bait of choice right now. Uh, I don't even know. Just a little red, white, and yellow thing with a little grub on there. So, getting her done. Marking a big old fish down there. Maybe it's just close to the camera. I don't know. Which one? Oh, got him. Oh, no. No. Johnny. He's out. This is another fish. Another, per another perch down there, everybody. Little guy, you know, but uh, still some action. So we'll see if he takes it. Maybe not. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, out of his mouth. Oh, oh my gosh. One struggle, everybody, with the aqua view is you think you have them like set they're on they, they have their mouth on the hook but they haven't really bit down and you can't quite tell when they actually do that so that's one drawback to using an aqua view versus a vexlar you have to rely more on 
with an aqua view you're looking with your sight versus a vexilar you're working with the actual feel which is better to help you land a fish sully first fish of the day today first fish on the channel nice little bluegill sunny Not thing bad. i don't even know the difference you know but uh, yeah, hybrid we'll take it all day all right let's go all right guys well uh wow you can this camera is so foggy i'm sorry about that guys right now it's 4 36 and uh sully just caught another sunny the night bite is starting to heat up, folks. Uh, probably fish till 5, I don't know, 5.30. And, uh, wow. Hopefully this camera gets a little better. I'm marking one. Marking, marking a sunny. Oh, Johnny! <laughs> Dude, the one bad thing about the aqua view, like I said before, is you think you have the fish, but you really don't. So, you have to, you, it's like you watch them, but you can't set the hook when they have it in their mouth because they don't have the hook. So confusing. R.I.P. All right, everybody. Just got back to the truck here. That's a wrap for today. Had an awesome time, you know, didn't catch a lot of fish. Sorry, there's a couple cars going past me right now. Didn't, didn't catch, oh wow, that guy's cool. Um, didn't catch a lot of fish, you know, but you know, that's okay. As long as you're getting out here having fun, enjoying the outdoors, that's what it's all about. So you don't always have to go and limit out. That's kind of what today's video was all about. Hopefully you enjoyed the underwater footage. I know that was kind of cool. Did my best to capture that for you. I'll do a better job of that in the future. But uh, until next time, I'll see you later.